Hi darlings, thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. And today I have a Bible journaling process for you in my illustrating Bible. And I am journaling day four in the By the Well for God, What Jesus Commands um, devotional. And it is Forgive and Be Reconciled. And I love the message and the lesson in day four. So I wanted to do a page here in Matthew chapter 18 um, in the parable of the forgiving servant. And I was inspired by some of the pattern paper. So what I ended up doing was the pattern paper that you could get additionally. I ended up cutting out the letters that I wanted to use as my title. And then I'm gonna use this pattern paper to kind of lay it all out on this page. So I'm gonna put you on fast forward. I've already fussy cut the letters that I'm going to use. And then yeah, let's see how it turns out. Let's dig in. Okay, so I started off flipping over my Bible because I'm actually going to do this Bible journaling entry long ways in my Bible. Um, this illustrating Bible gives you four inches of margin. And I just want to take up as much of the space to create my um, image sideways. So I'm going to start off doing that. I'm going to take this Distress Oxide ink in the color Tattered Rose on some packaging. And yes, you guessed it. I'm using this machine method. It has been my go-to. Um, I don't know if this is going to be a fad that goes away, but I am loving it. Just adding some color to the back of my page, drying it. And now I'm actually adding a second um, layer of that color. And this just is just putting some soft tones on the back of that page and it's effortless. So now that I dried it off, I'm pulling the paper that I had. And I'm also pulling these clear stickers because my background is so soft. Um, I don't mind putting these clear stickers over it because it's not going to show through my um, stickers there. So I put those on each corner and now I'm trying to see where I'm going to put the title to my page. And once I figure that out, I'm going to pull out this little circle frame. I have been using this circle frame and the numbers, Matthew's number stamp. So I can go ahead and um, label the number from the devotional that I'm doing. So which day I'm doing. So I'm working in day four. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. I use this soft color from the pattern paper that has lines. It has a vintage primary line feel. So I thought it was perfect for cutting out this frame. And so now I can kind of double check and see how I want it lined up. I fidget a lot um, with this long title because I wanna make sure I know where I'm gonna put it before I adhere it down. So here I have um, some foam adhesive. I'm actually using the outside of that foam adhesive. It is still good to use, so I'm going to make sure I'm using every inch of that. And I'm popping up these letters. Like I said, these actually came from the pattern paper. So they have like a 3D effect. And then I'm going to add some adhesive so I can glue down my number. Now I know I wanted to add 70 um, plus seven or and seven. So I'm gonna do that over on the right hand side to kind of contrast, um, bring the black from one side to the other side. So I am journaling in Matthew 18, 22, where Jesus is responding to Peter about how many times we should um, forgive. And Jesus answers him by saying 70 and seven. So that is why I am stamping this out with the Matthew's numbers alpha set. So I can remember that section of this verse. And I love how Tom breaks down the original language and um, why the number would be 77 and the significance behind it being that the number 77 would likely be meant as a perfect perfection. Um, I love the theme behind this. And so here you see me um, blocking out that section of scripture that I read. And now I am pulling out this tag and this tag on the right hand side of the stamp set, it has all these little phrases. And one of the phrases says, forgive offenders. And this day four speaks about forgiving our offenders and forgiveness. So I wanted to stamp that out on the little tag as a reminder so I can add that to the top of my page. 
So instead of me writing something in here, I'm just going to, this is the main topic. So I'm just gonna stamp this over and over down this tag, um, making that emphasis that we must forgive our offenders. Tom also writes saying that instead of sitting back, we are to seek out re reconciliation regardless of whether or not we are in the middle of something important. And I think that sometimes we like to sit back and wait to be forgiven or wait to ask for forgiveness, but um, it's actually something where we have to take action. And I love that he mentioned that. Um, and he also mentions Matthew 5, 23 to 24, where the Bible actually tells us that when we're going to offer our gift, if we remember that we have something against our brother or our brother has something against us, that we should go and ask for forgiveness and um, settle that before we give our offering. So let's not delay in forgiveness. Here I am just taking a bow clip and I am changing the orientation of the bow. I think this blue matches perfectly with those letters. I'm also gonna grab some of these washi strips so I can add that to the top. For my tag to dangle towards the top of the page, I'm just gonna add it right there to my paper clip. And then I'll use a strip of washi tape that is from the coordinating, um, that's co that has coordinating colors. So I can add that to the top and secure my bow. And now of course, I'm going to add my date stamp with my VersaFine Black Onyx ink. And of course, add one more flower so I can have my three elements of flowers. And now I'm going to start working on some splatters. So I'm gonna take my Versa Fine Black Onyx ink and I'll just put a little bit on the packaging, spritz it with water, and then just use my um, brush so I can get some of those splatters onto my page. Now that those splatters are on there, I'm gonna take a little bit of foam adhesive and I'm gonna pop up one of these um, transparent butterflies that I printed out on transparency film. And that's gonna do it for me. And that is it, darlings. I love how it turned out. So let me give you a side view. And I am loving using all the vintage elements. And of course, this repeated little tag to remind me to forgive my offenders. And yeah, if you are new here, I hope you consider liking my channel, subscribing, and hit that like button, the notification bell, so you don't miss any of my videos. I'm gonna link everything that I use below. Um, leave me a comment, let me know how you love this page and what you would like to see, what other days you guys are working on that you would like me to Bible journal here on my YouTube channel. And thanks so much for joining me each and every video, darlings. God bless. Bye.